um, this running. I just would like to make one or two short statements where I see the future of Web3D. I mean, there's right now really a renaissance in um, that really people looking at standards that really after this all diversing um, virtual worlds that people again are interested in um, systems that um, bring more st uh, stability and, and reliability to uh, the people. And so the question is, can a single standard really subfill all these different fragments that are coming? And I believe that it's not just at the different um, types of worlds, but for example, I think in the future, 3D rendering on the web will look really different and not as the in or from a visual point of view but from a technology point of view so right now most people think about plugins in some kind of web browser and i think in the future it's not about 2d rendering outside and 3d rendering in some kind of plugin but i think that 2d 3d vector pixels they will all grow together and people will more think about uh, how to deliver some kind of of content and so I think that um, it will be really hard to just place a single standard somewhere in the 3D corner. It's really important to look more to the full uh, content pipeline. And the other thing I believe also is that um, a lot of people will uh, look at offline rendering again if we really uh, gets this high uh, bandwidth, this uh, gigabit pixel we, we get all over. Because with a, with a plug-in structure or with, with standards, it's always hard to, to control your image synthesis process. And if you really care about the images, it's hard to, um, to get what you want if, if you just use a standard that describes part of your world but not the pixels that get out. And X3D is a little bit in the middle. It describes how the rendering works, but there's still um, that all the pros look a little bit different. So people that really care about every pixel that's on the screen will probably um, more look into offline rendering again, especially I uh, know a couple of companies that do, um, for example, ray tracing and product visualization and that's something they do right now. Okay.